Alright guys, Tom here and welcome to a new video. I haven't done one of these for quite a long time where I have WWE 13 gameplay and just give you my my thoughts on something that happened in the WWE. So from the title and thumbnail, you can in fact tell that I'm going to be talking about, well, my thoughts about the Goldust and Cody Rhodes taking the tag team titles from the Shield, what's next for the Shield and what's it? what does it mean to the tag team titles and also what does it mean for Cody Rhodes and Goldust? I thought it'd be cool to just do a a little video on what I thought about this because I didn't have time to do a raw review so I thought it'd be cool if I could just talk about the main event and what the, the, yeah, the main thing that happens on Monday Night Raw and give my whole opinion on that. So Co Cody and Goldust faced the Shield yet again on Monday Night Raw and did in fact win the tag team titles thanks to Big Show knocking out Roman Reigns and then Cody Rhodes got the pinfall over Roman Reigns. Now the Shield, both Ro Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins especially did in fact win the tag team titles back at Extreme Rules 2013 pay-per-view and honestly at times for the past two months they've looked a lot better than the tag team titles I think the tag team titles were more of an accessory than a title to the shield I thought the shield were better than that title they didn't really it, it wasn't really giving anything to them they were more giving something to the title and having the shield to have it with the title and having them kind of higher than the actual title has pretty much made the tag team division dead you've got the real Americans you've got the primetime players and the Usos especially, who are just there in the tag team division, but considering the Shield was so powerful and they were looking so strong, they were pretty much untouchable and nobody could come close to that tag team titles because the Shield were just so powerful, they were being booked really, really strong and nobody could really get to that tag team title and that just made the tag team division really, really dead. So for that, I'm actually kind of happy that the Shield have dropped this title, but they've dropped it to Cody Rhodes and Goldust. And my problem with this is Cody Rhodes and Goldust aren't really a part of the tag team division. They were only formed as a tag team at the last pay-per-view battleground. They're not part of the tag team division at all. They've never really stepped foot in the tag team division. They've never faced somebody like the Real Americans or something like that. They're not a tag team. So you've got a, two people who are holding the tag team titles who aren't really in the tag team division. And the only reason why I was happy that the Shield were going to drop it was because hopefully it meant that the tag team division could do a little bit more because the Shield weren't holding it and nobody else in the tag team division could touch the Shield. But now the people that are holding it aren't even in the tag team division. So it makes the tag team division even more dead than it already was. And honestly, this Shield, the Shield versus Cody Rhodes and Goldust feud is probably going to go on for one or two more pay-per-views. And in the one or two more months that we're going to have these guys facing off, the tag team division is going to get even more dead. But one thing you could say about this is Cody Rhodes is getting a great main event spot, having this tag team title. Hopefully, it gives Cody Rhodes a more of a main event push, which he, he definitely deserves. I thought it was his time to take the money in the bank briefcase, but now he's really getting getting his time. He's He's been thrown into this main event spot with Triple H, and now the Shield are getting a bit more spotlight with this as well. So it's really, really w working out well for Cody Rhodes and the Shield. Even though the Shield have dropped the titles, it really, really gives them an excuse to get into the main event and join this feud with Triple H and Big Show, who are definitely main eventers. So it's really good for Cody and The Shield, but honestly, Cody and Goldust aren't going to hold them titles for much longer. I wouldn't be surprised if The Shield did actually go and defeat Cody Rhodes and Goldust at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, maybe thanks to manipulating Big Show or something like that. I honestly don't see Goldust and Cody Rhodes holding it, but for now, I think it's great. I think it brings a little bit of more excitement into the WWE, especially for the tag team titles, which honestly, the tag team titles have looked pretty dead since Extreme Rules because The Shield have been so untouchable, but honestly, it's just going to make the tag team division more dead because honestly Cody Rhodes and Goldust they don't really have anything to do with the tag team division. It's more to make another main event spot and to push Cody Rhodes and the Shield. It's really not going to benefit the tag team division anytime soon. And honestly, if they can drop that tag team title down to the actual tag team division sooner rather than later, it would be great. But for now, it's hopefully going to bring a bit more prestige to the tag team title because it's getting this main event push. Hopefully, Cody Rhodes and the Shield can make a good name for themselves whilst John Cena is finally coming back. Hopefully, they can just nick a little 
little bit more of the main event and establish themselves. And hopefully it's going to bring a bit more excitement to the WWE with Cody Rhodes and Goldust being the champions for a little bit. And hopefully we can have a really, really good match at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view with some good build. And I'm really, really excited to see how this goes on. And hopefully we can have some really, really good excitement for the tag team titles. And it should be a really, really good feud. So that's my, my, my views on what happened with Cody Rhodes and Goldust and the Shield. Uh, a lot of people weren't happy because the Shield, they, they, may be, they may be breaking down now. But honestly, with Dean Ambrose retaining, retaining his title on the main event, I think the Shield are safe. Hopefully this will actually work out for them and they, it's more of an excuse giving them a main event spot. And hopefully they can do some more erratic things instead of just having to build for a lame tag team match every pay-per-view. Hopefully they can just do a little bit more. It gives them an excuse to be a bit more free for all and they could do whatever they want because they don't have to defend this tag team title on pay-per-views they can now do whatever they want they can get into feuds that they they want they don't always have to go on two on two they can do stuff like that and establish themselves on their own so that's my opinion guys hopefully you enjoyed this video take care spy your hair